Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm out in the Shropshire countryside today. That embankment there, that is the old Seven Valley Railway, the section of the line that closed from Bridge North up to Shrewsbury. But this video isn't actually about railways. It's about what's on the other side of this little embankment. We're going to a ruined abbey. Build was Abbey. It's an abbey which I've visited a few times over the years and I'm pleased to be visiting here again. So we're going to go up these steps. So I say this is the old railway embankment and then we're going to look around the ruins. So we get to here and then this is where the, the railway part of this video ends. But this uh, is looking, that's looking towards, well just not far there was Ironbridge Power Station and the railway would have continued all the way down eventually to Bridge North and then looking that way the embankment sort of disappeared a bit but that would have gone to Shrewsbury. So once upon a time trains were running up and down here. We're going to go in here and um, you have to pay to park but it's actually free to enter the site. So here we are we're now entering Bilbo's Abbey and as we walk around this corner there's the Abbey. So it's quite an impressive Cistercian Abbey ruin. It was founded by Bishop Roger de Clinton in 1135 and the church was built between 1150 and 1190. There's a general overview of the site which we're going to look around so we're there so let's go and have a look around the church and some of the other abbey buildings. So quite an impressive, the, the sun's very overexposed, let's get inside and it shouldn't be too bad. A little bit of conservation work there as you can see there's a fence around it. I do, as I always say when I go to ruins, I try and find my way in through where there would have been doors, but I can't actually see an obvious door. But if you look down there, and there, some tiling which has survived, which is quite nice to see. We now walk through here, and this will take us in to the Abbey's church. There's the crossing. So that's where the central tower would have been. That's looking up towards the chancel. So this way is looking down the church. So north will be that way so that way's west and as pretty much all abbey churches do they face east so this is this is the best part of the abbey very nice and um, the whole shell pretty much has survived you can see all the arches i came here when i was about five and then i came here about 10 years ago so i've, I've visited a few times this abbey over the years and it's nice to be here but you did actually used to have to pay to go in now it seems you just have to pay to park your car if you're a member if you're not a member, sorry, an English Heritage member. Let's go up here now, we'll have a look at the rest of the church and then we'll walk around out there are the cloisters. So we'll go down there, see what there is to see. So when we get to towards the chancel, that's the north transept, that's the south transept. Very sunny, let's just go past here, there, you can see it a bit better now. So that's the south transept, we can't go in there as you can see. There's going to be some conservation work taking place but I am standing in the central crossing um, yeah so there we go that's like I say that is the north transit interesting there's some stairs up there so I suppose once there were stairs which would have taken us onto the roof of the chapter house which we're obviously not going to do but we'll go and have a look at that quite soon that must be where we put the camera through the fence just so you can see a, have a look at where the monks possibly would have sat bringing the camera back out. So here we are, down this end of, of the Abbey. And then you get a nice view looking back down the nave. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go and look around the parts of the Abbey, which still have a roof on, and you'll see why. Well, actually, just show you, well, yeah, these have got a roof on, these little chapels here, so the North Transit as churches and cathedrals often do, had a couple of little chapels, a nice view out there into the Abbey. Imagine how grand and this building would have been. It's a Cistercian Abbey, so they are probably the most successful of the monastic orders, originating from France, the Cistercian order. Out there, there's some gardens, which we're not going to be able to go in there private, but that was the abbot's lodgings, and there's various gardens. I did once have a look around there, I asked someone, someone took me around there about 10 years ago, but I don't think we're going to be doing that today. I'll just show you these stairs. We're not going up them, but up. So there must have been wooden stairs that have long gone. But if you went up there, you'd be effectively upstairs on the floor above the chapter house and everything. 
So here we are on the north transepts looking down to the south transepts. I'm not sure there'd have been much of a window here because you'd have had the upstairs, but there possibly would have been another grand window down there. Let's go down how many steps down here so we can find. It's starting to get a bit exciting now when we're going into these, these rooms. I always enjoy these parts of exploring ruins. Once again, we can see these gardens, which I said we're not going into, the abbot's lodgings. So just around the corner, there is the house. It's probably been rebuilt and everything, but basically the site of the abbot's lodgings. Got a bit of a vaulted ceiling in here. It's not the best one we're going to see. We're going to see much better quite soon once we get round. We're going to go out this door now, and this will take us into the cloisters. So this is the Avis cloisters. Look around there. A nice shadow of the arches from the church. We're now going to go. This is one of the best parts, preserved parts of the abbey here, the chapter house. Have a look. Before we go inside, we just stand here. You can see down, see the see the tiles on the floor, and there's also quite a fantastic vaulted ceiling. Give you an idea of what it would have been like with this board here. Abbot Ran Ranulf. He was the head of the abbot. He was the abbot. Yeah, the abbot is like the head of the monastery. Um, so they would have held meetings in here. It wasn't where they held prayers in here, so it was, it was more the non-religious, like the finances and everything would have been held in a chapter house. Of course, if you go to any cathedral today, cathedrals will usually have a chapter house. It's you know, quite an essential part of the bigger churches. It's just, like I say, it's not for prayers. Interesting, as I said, about the vaulted ceiling. There are some quite nice carved stone in places. If you look up there. And if you look on this column, it's got some quite well-preserved stone because it's inside better protected. Interestingly, we've got some stone carvings on that one. These two, this one and this column, don't have any stone carvings, but that one there does. We're going to have a closer look around here. So you've got some quite nice stone carvings there. We're now going to go back outside and we'll look at the cloisters and we'll go down to the, the other side of the abbey and we'll get a good view looking up. So here we are, this is now the cloisters of the abbey here, get a great view of the church. There's one more little room to look inside. I think this is just, um, it's just a corridor between various parts of the abbey, sometimes known as a slipe. A slipe is a word for a corridor. So there's actually quite a lot more ruins of the abbey in the private gardens, which we can't really see, although we'll if we have a look, I think you might be able to see there's one bit you can sort of see through, but we won't actually be able to go in there. That's the Abbey Church. I can hear there's people in there, so there is things going on in that part of the Abbey. We're going to go down to this lower part now. The sun is so bright today, very nice bright October day. If we have a look around here, so you can see there's an orchard. If you look down there, you can just see, see there's a few more ruins. So the abbey would have continued down there. I think things like the infirmary, those parts of the abbey, would have been down there. There's also quite an interesting lower, like a, I think, so there'd have been buildings above here. What we'll do, we'll go, I want to go down there. Um, I can remember as a child when I came here, when I was five, my sister and I were having races up and down there. I was always fascinated with monasteries castles etc as a child so yeah for me being told we were going to a ruined abbey was quite a treat it started when i was about three we went to tinton abbey and then went to lantony priory and then eventually we came here we also visited wenlock priory i'm probably not going to go there today because we've got somewhere else i'm going to this afternoon somewhere completely different um but i remember it, for me visiting ruined abbeys always was a real treat so I was very excited to come here, as a, even as a five-year-old. Quite a nice drawing there of the Abbey. The River Severn isn't too far away, just down there. 
we go down here now, get a great view here of the whole abbey. So, go back to my visit when I was five. As I said, we were, my sister and I were racing up and down here, which we were quite enjoying. Now, as I said, I enjoyed coming to these places. When I went back to school, I had to write, you know, when you're a child at school, you write your news, what you've done in the holidays. And I wanted to write that I'd been here, because this, probably when I was four, this and the Seven Valley Railway, they were the two highlights of my holiday. And I said to the teacher, Miss, I need to write, I went to build. And she let me write the word build. And I said, now I want to write the word was. And she said, well, you can't write that, because that doesn't make sense. I said, no, I want to write. She said, what do you want to write? I said, I want to write, I went to build was Abbey. And she said, no, Henry, you're not going to write that, because that doesn't make sense. I said, yes, it does. I went to build was Abbey. Okay, I was age of five. I hadn't quite, I knew the word build, knew the word was. I hadn't realised build was was one word. But she, she insisted I could not write it. She kept saying to me, what did you build? I said, I didn't build anything. I went to build was Abbey. She said, no, that doesn't make sense. What did you build? I said, I didn't build anything. I went to an abbey that Henry VIII and another Henry destroyed, but I didn't build anything. And uh, I took a postcard in the next day. Um, I went home a bit upset. My mother said, well, take a postcard in and show her. I'm sure she'd understand. And she sort of pretty much went, yeah, that's nice, right, next thing. So she was a bit embarrassed. She obviously realised that um, I was right and um, five-year-old was right in the qualified teacher was wrong but yeah Bill was Abbey it's a place so if any teachers are watching this if you get any little boys or girls and they want to write they went to Bill was Abbey let them write it because it is a real place um anyway let's uh, let's go up there's a board here it shows you what the abbey would have looked like before it was ruined and I think that's it for my vi visit today it's been, been great to come here again get a great view now the whole site the abbey chapter house this is course within the cloisters. Here we are look. So a bit of a cutaway give you an idea. See the abbey so that's the church. Give you an idea what the church would have been like. The cloisters would have had lots of plants that's where the monks would have exercised. We were just down there a moment ago. That's um what is that? it's the West Range that's where we were and as I said that's the chapter house just there. So those steps would have gone up to what it would have been number six with the East Range. So I think the monks would have slept up there. So you can just see above the chapter house, just where there would have been some windows. So the monks, I, I think, would have probably slept up there. Anyway, I think that's uh, it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. You know, if you're in Shropshire, there's plenty of other abbeys you can visit. We've got this one here, Bill was this Wenlock Priory, which is literally up the road. You've got Hormond Abbey, Lillishall Abbey, White Ladies Priory. I probably could go on. Shrewsbury Abbey, which of course isn't ruined. So I hope you enjoyed this video and from Bill Was Abbey, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.